Monday 6th of November, 2023. The Russian military has increased its stock of high-precision missiles. On Monday, they have broken the daily record for using such type of weapon by launching 103 missiles within 24 hours. Ukraine's Southern Operational Command reported that Russian forces launched a KH-59 cruise missile at Dnipro City and a KH-31P anti-radar missile at Odessa City. It is reported that a Russian strike partially damaged the Odessa National Art Museum. In addition to Russian terrorist bombardments, Russian forces continued their suicidal attempts at capturing Avdivka. The footage shows the work of the Ukrainian 47th Motorized Brigade, which successfully repelled the attack. With the usage of landmines and artillery fire, Ukrainian troops have eliminated several tanks and armored vehicles, forcing Russian forces to withdraw with devastating casualties. Such attacks have already become a normality in this section of the front. Tuesday, 7th of November, 2023. Democrats in the U.S. Senate have blocked a bill on aid to Israel due to the lack of funds for aid to Ukraine. The Senate objected to the Republican ideas, stressing the importance of providing aid both to Ukraine and Israel. Senator Patty Murray stated, Our allies in Ukraine cannot afford a delay, and neither can our allies in Israel. As for the Ukrainian rear development, a new problem has begun to arise. The number of Russian military prisoners has become so large that initial prison camps do not have enough capacity anymore. Because of that, Ukraine will open a new camp for Russian prisoners of war. The increase in the number of captured soldiers is related both to the situation at the front, which worsens the motivation of Russian troops, and to the blocking of exchanges of prisoners of war by the Russian side. Wednesday 8th of November, 2023. Russians attacked a civilian ship flying the flag of Liberia during the call to one of the ports of Odessa. As a result of the attack, three members of the crew who are citizens of the Philippines were injured. The pilot was killed and another port worker was injured. Yet another war crime was committed by the Russian side, which resulted in the death of foreign citizens. Nevertheless, Wednesday also brought some great news from the Ukrainian intelligence service. In occupied Lugansk, Mikhail Filiponenko was eliminated as a result of the explosion of a personal car. Filiponenko was the ex-head of the LPR People's Militia Department, meaning a Russian operative who helped establish a Russian regime on the occupied territories. He was involved in organizing torture facilities in the occupied territories of the Lugansk region and personally took part in torture. The intelligence service agents carried out the special operation together with the partisans. Thursday 9th of November, 2023. Another successful operation was carried out thanks to the forces of the Ukrainian intelligence agency. In the village of Chornomorsky in the occupied Crimea, two Russian high-speed landing craft were hit and destroyed. The boats in question are of the Cerna class. The ships were carrying a crew and loaded armored vehicles, including BTR-82. Russia actively used such small amphibious boats of the Cerna class during the occupation of Zmaini Island to transfer military equipment and landing craft. Thankfully, they won't be able to use these two anymore. Friday, 10th of November, 2023. The United Kingdom Operation Interflex has achieved its goal of training 30,000 Ukrainian soldiers between June 2022 and December 2023. The Ukrainian General Staff reported that Operation Interflex, which initially included the United Kingdom, but has added nine more countries as partners since its launch in the summer of 2022, achieved its goal of 30,000 Ukrainian military personnel trained ahead of time. Soon the soldiers will return to Ukraine and help their brothers in arms with newly acquired superior knowledge and skills. In addition, Lithuania transferred two NASAMS launches to Ukraine. Along with the NASAMS launches, Lithuania also provided the high mileage vehicles needed by the missile crews. The total value of Lithuania's military aid to Ukraine is already about half a billion euros. Saturday 11th of November, 2023. Ukrainian forces managed to break through and take control of the Topoli village in the Kharkiv region. The settlement is located in the Grey Zone near the border with the Russian Federation. The video showcases Ukrainian fighters raising up the Ukrainian flag on top of one of the houses. In addition, powerful footage appeared of the work of the soldiers of the 47th Brigade in Avdiivka direction. Ukrainian soldiers on the Bradley BMP, with the support of FPV drones, were fighting against the Russian infantry, which was trying to gain a foothold in the destroyed houses on the outskirts of the village of Stipov. Ukrainian brigade successfully repelled the attack and eliminated the enemy. 
Sunday 12th of November, 2023. Russian forces launched a large-scale missile and drone strike series against Ukraine, targeting Kiev Oblast for the first time in 52 days. Ukrainian military sources reported that Russian forces launched 31 Shahed drones, two Ke-59 missiles, one Ke-31 missile, one P-800 Onyx anti-ship missile, and an S-300 missile against various targets in Ukraine, and specifically targeted Kiev Oblast. Ukrainian air defenses downed most of the launched drones and used a Patriot air defense system to destroy the ballistic missiles. The Kyiv city administration stated that it has been 52 days since Russian forces last launched a missile strike against Kyiv Oblast. In conclusion, during this week Ukrainian forces have eliminated 5,780 personnel, 61 tanks, 115 APCs, 170 artillery systems, 14 MLRs, 78 UAVs of operational tactical level, and 10 anti-aircraft systems.